I'm Dr. Daniel Barrett. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. My goal is to provide natural looking results with minimal scarring and minimal downtime. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Bear. We've got a male tummy tuck for you. Yes, men do get tummy tucks sometimes, and in this particular situation, it is a stubborn area of loose skin, all right? So he wasn't heavy, he didn't have children, but he's got this extra skin that bothers him, and he doesn't want to wear swim trunks, um, it's noticeable when he works out, and it just kind of hangs. We're gonna do a tummy tuck on a male, keep the incision super low so he can wear swim trunks, and then also do a high definition sculpting of his male musculature and his abdomen so you can see his six pack. So I'm gonna show you how we do that, so stay tuned. I like to inject the areas that we perform some delicate parts of the operation so we limit bleeding, and it also prevents him from feeling this essentially in his spinal cord even though he's under general anesthesia. I spend a lot of time on my markings, especially when it comes to male physique, because the underlying musculature here can be blunted or augmented by our liposuction technique. So we're going to give him a nice vertical groove here, and we're also going to add some abdominal etchings in the horizontal direction to match his underlying muscles, his six pack, so that when the fat is all removed and he's healed, he's going to have a nice boost to a nice uh, stomach and six pack. I'm breaking up this fat, I'm not on suction, and that's important so we don't damage the skin and tether it down. So I like to keep a very low incision. And as you can see here, I just sutured this fascia here all the way deep underneath. So that effectively brought his incision line way down back into his waistline. So instead of having his belly button here, it's now gonna be up another two centimeters here. So that's really important, especially for men, being able to cinch that plication, uh, that fascia, so that this whole layer comes down and he doesn't have a high scar. So I'm gonna do one more of those sutures just so you can see what we're doing. Again, this isn't going to the lower fascia here, it's actually going to the deep suprapubic fascia. It's going to allow us to tighten that and keep this from riding up. And that way, you can wear swim trunks and no one will see a scar. So I have a few more layers to go here on the belly button, but you can see that it's already starting to take shape. It's indented, it's right into the vertical midline of the patient and we're not using any absorbable sutures in the skin. So this is gonna turn out great. Again, belly button is the centerpiece of any tummy tuck operation because it's the part that everybody can see. So if it doesn't look good, people are gonna know that you had a tummy tuck. So this is where I spend most of my time uh, as, to, as opposed to everything else in the operation. So we're done with that beautiful male tummy tuck. We did a combination of high definition liposuction, 400 cc's off the abdomen and the flanks, and then we did our tummy tuck uh, with a male physique in mind, and that is we kept the incision super low. You saw how I brought that skin down to hide that in the trouser line, uh, and then we did a lot of work on the belly button to make it look realistic, so when he's wearing those trunks, no one looks at him and says, oh, you had a tummy tuck. Just a quick recap of what we did, we were able to remove a big wedge of all of that tissue so that this is gonna be flat. And then we did our liposuction for our finer detail work. Um, so that's it for a male tummy tuck, you guys. Yes, men can have a tummy tuck. And if done properly, will look very masculine and fit the male anatomy, very nice. And can be concealed within standard male apparel. So if you have any more questions about that, check out my website, 
drdanielbarrett.com. Check out Male Tummy Tuck. I have a whole procedure page just for male tummy tucks. And feel free to leave your comments, questions, feedback right here on my YouTube page. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.